Hi, it's Mary with the Great Outdoors University. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to explore semi-permeable membranes. But before we can explore that, we need to create one. So a semi-permeable membrane allows some substances to pass through, while others are too big and they won't pass through. So if you look at this garlic clove and the bag that it came in, you'll notice that the garlic clove probably can't pass through that bag. But the garlic powder goes right through the holes. So we're the same concept and we're going to do with an egg. I'd like you to take a raw egg and put it in a bottle full of vinegar and watch it for the next three days. See what happens. After three days, feel your egg. After you feel it, of course, wash your hands thoroughly. You might notice it feels a little rubbery. So now the shell is no longer there and you have a rubbery egg that has semi-permeable membrane. What I want you to do after you get your rubbery egg, where the shell is decalcified due to the acid in the vinegar, you're going to put that egg in different substances. You might try putting this egg in salt water or in syrup or in orange juice. Try it in different substances and see what happens to the size of the egg. What you're going to be observing is the, um, the water in, is going to move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So it will go and diffuse through that semi-permeable membrane until there is a balance or equilibrium there. Have fun exploring and enjoy the rest of your day.